Like you want to give him that, that path of least resistance to walk up here. Yeah. You don't want to tease him too much. That's it. It's nice and steady. Right? Yeah. There we go. Now we just bring it back here. Hold it there for him. There you go. Oh, All right. Now give it to him. Right here, guys. Oh, 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 oh. There. Go on back. That's a four days. One over. Oh. Up. Get out. I'll have him. So he's definitely uh, one of our bigger, more dominant males. These big males, you can't let them go back in the wild. They will either fight and kill other crocodiles like the Otis and disrupt the whole ecosystem there, or uh, they'll go and try and kill your dogs or your horses or jump in your boat while you're fishing. So they're too used to humans now. This is it, this is where they'll stay. And I think Banjo will end up looking after the other things. That's my son, if you don't know Banjo. <laughs> All right, which I think he's just showing up in now. They're feeding your crocodiles, mate. Hey. <laughs> Hello. This is my wife, Kaya. Hello, Ray. Right now. Crocodiles that are sort of moving around. Stay there. You can just see here. Uh uh. Come here. Come on, up you come. How they're so remarkable being able to come back and um, survive after such a brutal sort of uh, dismember. And, um, uh uh, come here. So he's just trying to go back into the water. Uh uh. When we got him, he was quite uh, quite skinny, so we've really jammed the food into him. He's beefed out, he's healthy. We've got a bit of this green algae on him, but that's just normal for crocodiles in in this sort of environment, you know. Even I don't like the tickles. So, and they'll just build that algae up. But I don't have too many staff members that want to come down and give them a scrub down. So, so all these guys with busted snouts like that, they have trouble staying underwater and. Keeping the um, and like literally keeping their heads out of water. So anything with a busted snout, and even the old crocodile hunters, when they were shooting crocs, if they couldn't get a clean shot, they'd blow their top jaw out. I got a I got a photo. I'll bring it up later. Yeah. And show you the photo of the croc that I took out of many breeds of And if anyone's going to have an idea of his age, he's an old croc. Yeah. But he's massive. Yeah. But when you see the photo, you'd be the man to be able to say, now that croc is. Oh. I could, yeah, I can have a look, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he was a freaking monster, eh? Was he? Yeah, Big yeah. fella. Oh, oh, yeah. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still up there. Oh, beautiful. Up little, uh, he's healthy and happy? Yeah. Oh, wow. You ready, mate? Mum's about to go sh get some geese. We're coming down to the mango farm here. Look at all the geese, you ready? Yeah. Everywhere. Right now, get there. Go, go again. Oh, go cock up. All right, where are they? All right, so we're just trying to get a couple of geese to feed the crocs. I did get it. Look, honey, I got it. Oh, you got one. Oh, look at that. She's got one. Just put him in the back there, and we're just getting a couple of geese to feed the crocodiles, aren't we, mate? Hey. This a little black whip snake. What's wrong with him? His head's raised still or what? I reckon he's eating a cane toad or something. Hey? Hey. What is that? Hey? Hey? What is it, mate? Put him off the road there, hun. Hey? Put him in the bushes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's go. What's that, hey? Snakes? We've got, uh, got a couple of geese there. We're going to go feed out to the uh, crocodiles now. They're some of the ones that have been penned up. Uh, we've got a couple of big crocs here. We're going to go away and uh, we're going to go away tomorrow and go and 
go away for a bit and catch a few crocodiles. So going out of the lagoon to check out a few of our um, local crocs in the area as well. What do you want to head up and see Bone Cruncher? Yeah, I reckon it's so pretty at the moment. Yeah, pretty time of the day. Who are you going with? Uh, I'm going to just will on myself. We're just going to head out. We've got a few there to catch and a few gill guys. And we're going to go in the airboat. Look at the little crocodile here. Hey? Look at the little girl. Little crocodile there, mate. It's a banjo sized crop. A little banjo crocodile. Hey boy! Hey! Our main man! The main man! Banjo, come see the crocodile! Hey! Look at this one! What's that, mate? Banjo, this is basically a member of our family. <laughs> this is your brother, Banjo, your long lost brother, Bone Ooh, Catcher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, hello, mate. What's that doing? What are you doing? It's a crocodile. Hey, what are you doing, mate? It's a crocodile. It's a crocodile. Look at you, mate. You're looking healthy. He's still a wild crocodile, but he's uh, he's got this nature about him that's different to a lot of other crocodiles. And I think it's because he's been handicapped here and um, not only got half a jaw and missing an eye there. He's got some of his tail huh? missing down here, but. Come up here, buddy. Come on. Come up here. So the other type of saltwater crocodile is because it's got lighter markings. Do you remember what that one's called? It's been said that there's a couple of different sort of crocs. One's either darker with a bit of fatter head, and then you've got these other crocs that are a lot slimmer in the head and a lot lighter in colour. They are, um, uh, uh, come on, mate. It's, it hasn't been proven that there's two different crocs, but yes, there's the um so it's know, not the, just the fresh and the salt there's two different types of salt yeah two two different different of saltwater crocodiles and you know the um local indigenous always said that there was two different different types of crocs you know they lived here for a long time if anyone's gonna know they'll know think about crocodiles banjo think about crocodiles is that they size their meal up. I'm too big for this crocodile, you're not. Hey? Yeah. It's a, it's a different, yeah. See, if you were here, mate, he would size you up, yes. Yes, yeah, you listen to me, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can't get in here, you listening? Now that's gonna be pretty tough, teaching a kid where his dad works as crocs 24 seven. And uh, we have a few penned up as well. A lot of teaching about to happen. How old do you reckon until Banjo is, until you'd start teaching him and allowing him to be around Crocs? He's learning now. So he'll learn and we just need to make sure that he understands the dangers of crocodiles and not putting his hand in with Jilly at home or not trying to be a clown but respects wildlife and works with wildlife. And we'll, we won't tell him stories about how you caught brown snakes when you were four. We'll keep those to us. He'll be doing it himself. We don't have to tell him anything. He's probably going to trump me in my stories. So it's, you just need to behave yourself. I'm hopping back on the boat. No, I'm not. I'm falling off the boat. That's what happens when you get around in wet jeans. You struggle getting back onto things. Oh. What do you want? A quick picture of me in this shirt somewhere so I can send it to Just them for their here. social media. Sit there. Because they want to see this. Oh, they just stand there, turn around. No, you're not coming on here. What did you want? A photo of your shirt. I've got a crocodile trying to get on the boat. Ah, ah, get out. You're not coming on. Ah, get out. What do you want? A photo. <laughs> do you want the crocodile in the photo? 
Well, I just really like these shirts and they sent them to me, so I thought I should get a picture of me and my what? shirt and bone crunch. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice shirts. Yeah, doesn't come up. If you ever want a croc catching shirt, uh, these are the ones. Uh, uh. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> Crocodile nearly come on the boat. You gonna try? Let's go.